Why is there a coat hanger over here? <laughs> Woo! Coming into your basic stance. I've actually got a gigantic bottle of water right in front of the screen. Let me move it. That's better. That's more better. I can see you all. <laughs> here we go. Spread out to your toes. Relax through your feet. Let's sweep relaxation upwards. Tuck the hips. Lift through the rib cage. Shoulders come all the way around and down. We're going to turn the music up a little bit. Let's have a party. Into alignment all the way through your entire body. In neutral through hips, fueling the body with breath. We're going to pick up a gentle march. Nice. Lifting up through the knees. Let's get the elbows going. Moving through the shoulder joint as well. We're going to warm up through every single muscle, every joint. We're going to boost all systems of the body. We're going to work on a cardiovascular level, utilizing the methodology of high interval, high intensity interval training, HIT training. One of the most effective ways to exercise. Let's make that even bigger still. <laughs> so let's take the feet wide. We're gonna lift up through the knees. Nice. A little bit higher. It was like a jog. Woo! Here we go, we're gonna go one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Four, one, two, one, two, one, two, down, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, down, low, one, two, one, two, one, two, down, low. Take it down. Woo! Still in there. <laughs> <laughs> nice, bring it to March. Wow, already feeling that you're warming up. Here we go, we're gonna work with a hip drop one side, then take it to the other. We're gonna drop the hip down using a bend of the knees. Your knee is the lever for that movement. The hip just happens to follow. Allow the waist to open up. External obliques can lengthen. Make it nice and light to begin with. We're still warming up. And then, when you're ready, you can make that a little bit faster. Perhaps add a little bit more power and strength behind that movement. Try to keep your height nice and steady. And ensure that your knees are nice and soft and relaxed. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yes, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yep. Woo! Feels like forever, doesn't it? It's nice to be back sharing with you all in this wonderful dance this time around. We're increasing our fitness. We're gonna really boost the heart rate in a moment. Are you gonna feel that working already? Here we go. We're gonna drop, 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 drop. Try that to the other side, step back, drop, drop. One, two, three, four, drop, flick, drop, flick. One, two, three, four, drop, flick, drop, flick. One, two, three, four. You did the drop flick that whole time. Nice, into center. Drop through your hip. Wow, lovely. Let's try with that single leg. Drop, 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 flick, drop, flick, drop, 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 flick. Other side, drop, 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 flick, drop, flick. Drop, flick, drop, flick, center. Woo! 
One, two, three, four, drop, flick, drop, flick. One, two, three, four, drop, flick, drop, center. Shimmy. One, two, three, four, drop, flick, drop, flick. Drop, flick, center. Nice. Let's bring in the element of a hip slide. Ah. This is really nice for releasing through your low and mid back. Really beginning to stretch out through the waist. Try to keep your upper half nice and still in its center and you're just gonna slide that hip out towards the side. Suddenly I am roasting, I don't know about you, but suddenly it's really hot. <laughs> Often in these movements, you're working a lot harder than you even realize at the time. But other times you can really feel it. Nice. If you've been joining us, on the abs challenge, the one minute washboard abs, you'll probably be feeling that right now because your abs are gonna be switched on. You might notice a difference in your technique as well. Here we go, we're gonna take the hip out to the side, bring it back to the side, bring it forward to the side, bring it back to the side, Bring it forward, stick it to the other side. We're gonna bring it out to the side. Bring it back to the side. Bring it forwards. So I trial run. Trial run, is that a thing? Trial ran, ha. Uh, the week three program of the abs challenge yesterday. So if you know, You've been with me a while, you might have heard me talking about DOMS, delayed onset of muscle soreness. So that usually peaks around about 40 hours after exercise, which means that this right now that I'm feeling is not even the most that I'm going to be feeling it. So I did the entire program for the whole of week three yesterday, and I'm joining you right now. And by tomorrow, that muscle soreness should have peaked. <laughs> so join me in that class. So I'll be belly basics and belly dance of this week to find out just exactly what the effect was for me during that entire seven days plus a rest day. Here we go. Drop, 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 drop forwards. Drop, 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 drop into center. We're gonna bring an Omi in here. Wow, everyone's like, yes! Oh, I'm an Omi. Drop through your hip, tuck through your tummy. Drop through your hip and release. So it goes drop, tuck, drop, tilt. Here we go, a bit faster, drop. Tuck, drop, tilt, drop. Tuck, drop, tilt, drop, tuck. Drop, tilt, drop, tuck. There goes one of my coins. <laughs> drop, tuck, drop, tilt, drop, tuck, drop, tilt, drop, tuck, drop, tilt. Bring it all the way around. Woo! Oh yeah. Say that to whatever speed works for you. You take it around the other way. Woo! So what we got is drop. Other side, drop. Into center, drop. Into shimmy, shimmy. Two, three, into omi. Reverse. Oh, wow, camel. So you're gonna roll that movement all the way down the spine, pull in with upper, mid, low abs. 
Wow. Drop two, three, four, shimmy, two, three, four. Drop two, three, four, shimmy, two, three, camel. Hip drop flick. Other side. Into center, hip drop here. Bring it up into shimmy. Wow, Omi, take it back, woo, <laughs> camel, nice, drop, wow, shimmy out, Amazing! Help yourself to a little spot of hydration. And then join me right back here in center four. A fun combination is one that is a bit of a favorite of many, well, many folks actually. Woo! Chase spring. And if you see that, it says chase spring on there. Turns out, like, I don't know, I didn't know why I was like so loving this sparkling water, spring water. It turns out my grand silver, she actually grew up with the chase spring right like on her doorstep. If that's not epigenetics, I don't know what is. <laughs> Let's bring it in. Here we go. Freestyle. <laughs> Woo. Bring it into center, here we go. We're gonna step wide and narrow. Wide, wide, narrow, narrow. Can you feel your energy building? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> so you're going to elevate through your foot on the diagonal. Now, let me give you a lower option is a toe tap out in front, like so. Or if you'd like a higher level option, you're going to lift and rotate back, down. Lift, rotate, back, down. Lift, rotate, back, down. Lift, rotate, back, down. Woo, that becomes all one movement. One and two and one and two and one and two and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and Daidi. Imagine you got a great big cane and you're just bringing that up overhead. Wow, bring it down. Put your hand on top of the cane there. shoulder here. Wow, pop it down. Both hands on top. Other side, kick it out from underneath. It lands on your shoulder. 
Wait one sec, wait one sec. <laughs> Woo! You're gonna hit your hip. All of the cane. Hit, 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 hit. You try these movements with a cane when it lands on YouTube if you want to. If you're going for that option, do just be aware of your surroundings. Might want to practice that outside. Woo, here we go. Center. The videos are there on the YouTube playlist. Just look for Abs Challenge on our channel. You'll find it there. If you're joining us, you can join us at any time. Just add in your comment to hold yourself accountable. We'll all dive in and support you. I'm going to be in there after classes, giving lots of support and offering some tips. I know I've got a couple of questions there. I think, Roz, you had added a question for me. On the last video, I'm going to go in and answer that straight after classes. But yeah, you can join us at any time. But if you've been doing that with me, wow, you're gonna be feeling maximum benefits from your classes tonight. Woo, here we go. Yes, well done. So that figure of eight, this one, horizontal. We're gonna take it into basic Egyptian shimmy up and down first of all, and then we're gonna play with that movement that we just did on a horizontal. Oh, one of my coins is rolling. Whee! Where it lands, nobody knows. <laughs> with the hips in neutral here, we're gonna work that waggy dog. Work the waggy dog shimmy. Imagine you're wagging your tail, you're gonna bring a hip forwards and back. Forwards and back. And we're of course gonna speed that up because this is belly jam. We're gonna take it to that high level option for high energy jams. High vibes. Well, those come as standard in every class that we have, don't they? Whee! Here we go. Woo! Forwards and back. Try to relax your upper half. Woo! How was that? Back to regular. So this time the hip comes up and down. Here we go. Nice, waggy dog. Forwards and back. This one is straight forwards and back. Got a cable hanging. Yes, use your pelvic floor here to help bring your hips into neutral. Keep your upper half nice and still and steady. <laughs> wow. Bring it back to slide. We're gonna slide through our upper half here. Oh, bring it into one of those gorgeous figures of eight through your upper half. Feel 
the groove bait. Wow, slide. Other side. Do you know what's coming up next? How's the boat? No. Ready that? Do you know what that means? Do you know what that means? Drop me a note in the comment if you think you know what that means. <laughs> Woo! All right, grab yourself a little spot of water. This next one is going to make you work. Yes! <laughs> to Marge, not to Roz. Marge said squats. Yes, there's a hip drop squat. <laughs> Roz says, you need a poop? <laughs> um, any, any Americans watching this on YouTube, that means poop? Uh, no, 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 I don't actually, but thanks for asking. <laughs> it means a hip drop squat. Yeah. Am I overexposed there? I think maybe I am. Woo! I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Here we go. So let me give you your options here. You can keep your hips in neutral throughout. You can either work with a hip drop, making it a hip drop squat. Or you can just come straight down without that, making it a regular squat. You're gonna have your feet a bit hip width apart, have them slightly diagonal. You're gonna bring your hips back and down, keep your knees behind your toes, keep your chest elevated. Here we go. Take a deep breath in. We're only gonna do a few of these, so really make them count. As you breathe out, fueling the muscles before we go on your next deep breath in. Oh, this is it. Breathing in, raise your hands up to where you need them to be in order to help yourself to balance. Keep the chest open, you can keep the hip drops going. Bring the hips back and down. Keep the knees behind the toe. <laughs> squeeze through your glutes and bring yourself back up using that squeeze of glutes to really help you with that. Woo, shake it out and shimmy down. This is your rest phase. Here we go, and again, deep breath in. As you breathe out, let's come down. Keep the knees behind the toes, bring it right down. Squeeze through your glutes. You're gonna see my face go really red here. Woo! Shake it out and shimmy down. It doesn't matter how fit I get. I think it's just my complexion. This always goes beetroot in my face. And I am cool with that because who doesn't like Ribena? <laughs> ah. Here we go, are you ready? Deep breath in. As we breathe out, in your own time, let's sit down into there. You could shift your weight ever so slightly into your heels if it helps you for stability. Bring that <laughs> hip drop back in as soon as you can. Squeeze your glutes. Woo! Shake it out. Shimmy down. Because I couldn't find the track there. 
It's reward time. <laughs> Marcia. Ah! <laughs> wow. So I want to say a big shout out to all my Patreon people who are joining me right here live on Zoom via our Patreon page or Patreon, whichever way you want to say it. I want to say a big thank you to you because without you guys, these classes would not be happening right now. Uh, they would not be able to be uploaded to YouTube to share with whoever might find them and be of need of them right now. So thank you from me. So we're going to bring our hips out to the side, bring it back, ah, all the way around. Bring it all the way out to the other side. And of course, there's something really awesome about being here right now in the moment, isn't there? <laughs> Woo! We're gonna enjoy really releasing out some of these muscles that we've just worked really hard. Bring one foot out in front, bring it all the way around. <laughs> Lift your foot up. You can do this against a wall or leaning against a chair. Bring that foot up towards your glute. Bring the knees into alignment. Now here, what I want you to do is really concentrate on bringing the pelvic floor muscles into activation there and bringing the hips forwards. It's from this position here that you can achieve a stretch. If you didn't effectively do that, you're not gonna receive much of a stretch. So it's really important to extend through there, but be careful not to hyperextend through your back. So bring a bend through the supporting leg, just enough. We're gonna release that gently down, take it towards the other side now. We're gonna bring the foot out, bring it right. Lift up, grip on, and then coming into alignment, then what we're gonna do is activate through those pelvic floor muscles. Remember that hammock shaped set of muscles all the way around towards the front of your body, just in the low abs there. Then push the hips forwards and bring that foot closer in towards you. Now you should feel this deep release all the way through there. Ah, wow. I find it incredible how tension can develop in this area so quickly. And it's something that nowadays, in the way that we lead our lives, if you don't actively stretch out through here, you do risk injury to other parts of your body. Let's release that down. Wow. Deep breath here. Take the footing wide, bend through your knees. We're going to pivot forwards. And as we come forwards, bring the crown of the head down. Tailbone comes up towards the sky. From here, deep breath in. So we breathe out. We're going to lengthen through one side. <sighs> Releasing all the way down through hamstrings. All the way through the back into waist. Deep breath here. As you breathe out, we're going to walk it through center and out towards the other side. Really beginning to lengthen through there. Oh, doesn't that feel good? <laughs> Deep breath in. In its center, as you're in its center, we can gradually begin to unwind as you breathe out. Whee! Returning all the way back into that gorgeous basic stance position. Hands come all the way upwards. Open them out wide. Bring the thumbs behind you. See if you can bring the shoulder blades together. Slide them down your back. Bring your hands as wide apart as open as possible. So we're stretching out through the chest. This heart open sensation begins to fill your rib cage as it expands and your entire body. Feel that energy flow into you. Ah, and as you bring your hands down by your side, take a moment to notice how you felt and how you feel now. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> Woo. 
If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to like, subscribe and hit notifications so you can be informed of when the next video goes up. If you'd like to support the creation of these videos, remember you can head along to patreon.com forward slash Little Egypt Studio where you'll find a community of other enjoyers of these videos. <laughs> See you soon. Bye.